Hey, y'all, it's Pastor Kevin, and I'm here to introduce our new sermon series. We are going to go back into the Old Testament and study the book of Ruth. And I'm super excited. The book of Ruth has so much to teach us about spiritual life and the history of the church. And one of the primary focus for this study is that God is with his people, that he preserves his people. Regardless of circumstance, God is with and preserving his people. See, I think even today that there are times when we are tempted to wonder, does the cause of Christ prevail? Or perhaps, perhaps the church and the proclamation of the gospel, it might be doomed to extinction. But it's not, y'all. And we're going to go back, we're going to study the book of Ruth, and we're going to glean from it so much courage, so much trust that God has us, that he's with us, that he's for us. It's going to meet us right where we are emotionally, in the midst of difficult circumstances or delightful circumstances. The gospel moves into that situation and gives the people of God courage that the cause of God and the mission of God will be fulfilled by God through his people. One commentator has it this way. He says, Ruth's story shines through the pages of the Old Testament like light in the darkness, like a bright star in the night sky. The book of Ruth coming out of Judges, the book of Judges in the Old Testament, is very much that way. A light shining in the darkness. And that's the reality of the gospel for us, that faith beats back darkness, the darkness of sin, the darkness of unbelief. The light of the gospel shines, and as it does, darkness flees. Now, it's not a false promise that your life will be filled with easy circumstances. No, no, no. But God is with us in every circumstance. That's part of what we're going to see in the book of Ruth. It is God's sovereign power and authority being exercised through the circumstances, many of which people would not choose. Yet, because of God's goodness, because of God's power, and most of all, because God is committed to his cause far more than any of us, God will see it through. Just as the Apostle Paul wrote to the church in Philippi at the beginning of Philippians chapter 1, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion. Well, God has gone to extraordinary lengths, has he not? To redeem us, to save us and sanctify us and prepare us to live with him forever. So get your appetite wet spiritually, get your uh, emotions excited. We are going to be going verse by verse through the book of Ruth, and we're going to see God's faithfulness and God's presence and preserving power at work within the lives of his people. So are you with me? Are you excited? Be here. First Sunday of Advent in the year 2020. Looking forward to seeing you here. Take care and God bless.